Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to make a new grow up bin for my worms. I have been getting them out of various containers, and this is a light migrated amount of worms here. We'll have a look and see what we've got. But let me get some bedding together, and we'll get this thing made. Okay, here is my prepared bedding that has been down here in the basement. Um, kind of preparing. It doesn't have any coconut coir in it right now because I don't have any. It's just paper that has the um, kelp meal in it and the eggshell in it. Um, so not the typical, didn't have any, use what I've got is pretty much what I do. So this is going to be the beginnings of this bin. I'm going to get that a nice whopping handful and then let's see what bin, what worms we have well that's that might be a pound of worms maybe and then I'm going to completely fluff this up to make sure all the microbes that are in the leftover castings get in contact with the the paper bedding I'm going to have to get some coconut coir at some point or otherwise this is going to become a very clumpy sticky mess if I just use paper. Um, normally once I get a bin moving <clears throat> I just use the paper bedding but uh, right now it's getting that time of year where you know COVID and all that business you just can't get things you want like you normally would and right now I can't find a brick of coconut coir. So this is going to have to do. Now I'm going to give them something easy to eat, which is some apple goo. So that's probably less than a pound. And I'm just going to start this by moving it all over the bin. If it was all in one spot, it might heat up a little. I doubt it, not in this temperature. The temperature in the basement is about 58 degrees, so I don't think it's going to, but I'm just going to give them a tiny little bit of food, mix it up with the castings and the approximately one pound of worms. And then this is just my standard grow up bin, so you can, you saw when I had all the worms out that these are pretty small worms, they're immature most of them. Um, they're the red, the blue, and the Euro mix. I don't see any clotellums, so that means they're either blue worms or immature reds and Euros. But either way you look at it, this is a good start for them to have their own space and to bulk up so that they can be good little compost makers for me. So that's just a, a very easy first bin. Doesn't require hardly anything, just some shredded junk mail some food, worms, some grit. The grit that's in there is this, which is like oyster shell and egg shell, but that's already in the bedding, so I'm not going to add more. Just a uh, Lowe's mortar tray, so this is about four dollars, at least it is here uh, in the central U.S. Apple goo came as a byproduct of me making juice. Shredded paper from junk mail comes free and the worms came from another bin uh, that was being finished. So I'm just gonna bury up those avocado pits and that's just a, a really short first bin. A lot of people put a lot of thought into it, think you need to spend a lot of money, but you don't. You know, a four dollar little plastic bin or even one that you have around your house you don't need or the lid broke, um, is a very good starter bin. You don't need a lot of worms, they reproduce very quickly, so you don't need to worry about getting a large amount of worms to start a bin to be successful. Now these guys with a pound of worms, I will feed them about a pound a week right now. So like I made that little ball, that's all the more they're going to get per week with their bedding. Uh, a lot of websites will tell you they'll eat a their weight in food per day, but that's really unrealistic and you can 
That can lead to protein poisoning and also your bin becoming very foul smelling. Now, as this is a new bin, I am going to cover it up with um, some bubble wrap so that it stays nice and moist. Normally, if you're going to have worms that want to escape, it's normally going to be at this stage. Um, because they've been disturbed from their normal habitat, it's new bedding. I did not pre-set um, the bin with castings, um, which I do normally do. But this is like a normal situation when somebody first has worms and they don't really think, you know, to prep. So if that's what you did, this will be successful. The food is spread out. The worms can spread out and they have just enough food, um, not enough that will heat up and not enough that will go anaerobic. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.